Florida man jailed for drunk driving. Cheerio recall. Lamar Odom hospitalized. What's up, plant? It's your ombre, Felipe. What's up? I'm Abby. Today is Thursday. The 15th of October. We're going to keep you entertained through this long homeroom. Wouldn't want to miss it. Florida man was hospitalized for drunk driving. Nothing new, right? Wrong. Ronnie Scott Hicks was arrested Monday night for drunk driving a wheelchair. When officers arrived on the scene, they spotted Hicks in a motorized wheelchair in the middle of the street blocking traffic. The 50-year-old, the 54-year-old had two previous DUIs and can now add a WUI, wheeling under intoxication, to his list of convictions. Good. Now, we have some grave news. There's a recall on General Mills Cheerios. What? Ew. <laughs> well, only for the gluten-free kind. Oh, well, that's fine. Cheerios underwent a high-profile makeover this summer with a few varieties of the cereal. Original, honey nut, apple cinnamon, frosted, and multi-grain Cheerios going totally gluten-free. However, not all has gone according to plan. The president of General Mills Cereal released an apology because due to human error, over 1.8 million boxes of gluten-free cereal have been recalled. It's okay. I like gluten. Well, while I enjoy this snack, let's take a quick break to turn um, and turn our attention to the Special Olympics video coming up next. Wow, what an amazing experience. I saw quite a few ballers out there. You don't see skill like that every day. Now, on a more serious note, a notable athlete, ex-husband of the very own Khloe Kardashian, Lamar Odom, was found unconscious yesterday. The former Lakers teammate was suspected to have overdosed on drugs and broke under the pressure of a life of chaos. Friends and family, including his ex-wife, Khloe, came to his side, and I'll wait to hear more from doctors. Odom was put on life support, but there have been reports that he's been improving in stability and status. Sending love to the Nevada Hospital. On a more exciting note, it's time for the school announcements! <laughs> uh, whistling wind, booming thunder, sizzling sun. Can you write sheet music to capture these sounds? Your original Earth Day themed sheet music is welcome for the annual arts contest. Deliver your original sheet music to room 215 by 3 p.m. on December 1st to be entered in the contest. Attention FBLA members, you need to sign up for the contest event in room 201 this week. Stand-up applications are available in room 222. Old members need not reapply, but can stop for 
bucks. Get, we can stop by for a flyer if you want to buy a new shirt. Applications and shirt money are due on the 16th. Any students interested in playing as a partner for Plant High's Unified Special Olympics basketball or soccer teams, please see Ms. Radigan in room 151. Attention students participating in the PTA Reflections Art Contest. Contest entries will be collected in the Media Center on Tuesday, October 20th, before school from 7 to 7.30 and during all three lunches. Students should also bring their entry form, their artist statement, and any required consent forms. Remember. The paperwork must be signed by a parent if you are under 18. Visit the PTSA website at plantptsa.com for full details. Our Good Morning Yogurt and Smoothie Bar is now open, featuring a make-your-own yogurt parfait, fruit smoothies, iced coffee, and much more. Is that me? Oh. We are open before. <laughs> Before school, 6.30 to 7.15, our garden harvest this week produced fresh basil, mint, and collard greens. Tomorrow we will feature these items on our menu. The collards will be in Spanish chickpea stew, the basil and mint in a strawberry salad. The basil also will be utilized in a winter squash roasted vegetables. Bon appetit. We are on pause schedule due to today's peer mentor breakfast. Um, hopefully new friendships will be made. Let's show some love. The boys varsity golf team came in first in the district golf match Tuesday. They played four other teams and Plant brought back the W and the trophy. <laughs> Plant and Steinbrenner will go into regionals next Monday. Jackson Suber came in first place with the lowest score and Gunnar Rainey and Aaron Tobin tied for second place. Wish your men's varsity golf team well when you see them. There are Aaron Tobin and Gunnar Rainey co-captains, Robbie Eich, Chris Kern, Jackson Suber, Trip Glover, Max Gomez, Alex Johnson, Colin McCabe, and Carson Moran. Go Panther Golf! Woo! Girls Volleyball also killed it on 3-0 um, to zero on Tuesday night. Shout out to the seniors Ansley Gold, Emma Frierson, Allie Carey, and Sydney Carey. Nice job, ladies. Cross Country also won counties by one point. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> JV football heads to Sickles tonight for an exciting hustle. You guys go out there and watch them. Swim team is about to dive in and get Steinbrenner. Uh -huh. um, it's an action-packed day. Let's send all of our Panther athletes some school spirit love. You got this, guys. Love my athletes. Now for the last part of the day. It's Throwback Thursday. So here's a sweet uh, find of a very own TV2, Drew Miller. So cute. What happened? Aww. Good old Drew. <laughs> Drew <the builder. laughs> that's funny. You can do everything. All right. Well, that's all we've got for you today, Plant. Kill it today. Stay tuned for a special morning show feature.